Good afternoon. I'm here at Digital Travel Summit with Siddharth Butalia, Chief Marketing Officer for Air India Express. Hi, Siddharth. How are you doing? Hi, how are you doing? Good. So, okay. So, firstly, how is the experience of Digital Travel Summit 2024 for you? Well, it's been good. It's uh, good to be back here mm -hmm. along with all the other people from the hospitality, OTA and airline business. I think it's been a while since everybody connected. For sure. Okay. So, what's the airline strategy for adopting sustainable aviation fuel for Air India Express? So, sustainability is obviously a key plank of the strategy for any airline and topical uh, throughout the world, right? Despite the uh, heavy price pressure that there mm -hmm. is. Uh, from an SAF perspective, there are obviously supply chain constraints uh, across the world. Uh, implementation of mandates hasn't come into place uh, quite yet. But in recognition of the fact that we know that this is where the future is going to be, yeah. there are a number of initiatives that we have taken. Uh, one that we did along with the Air India Group and Vistara, mm -hmm at that time was to have a memorandum of understanding with the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, the okay. Indian Institute of Petroleum, um, which is a government body, for the development of research uh, on SAF, which specifically includes production, uh, because we think that there is ample opportunity for India to actually lead on uh, production of SAF, given the feedstock advantage that India has as a geography. Uh, the second is the recognition that there needs to be an indigenous source of uh, SAF because if we're importing SAF from other countries mm -hmm. uh, then you're effectively not really helping the climate because you're transporting yes. that fuel using other yes. fuel uh, into the geography so we were the first airline in India actually to fly a scheduled commercial operations with sustainable aviation fuel okay. wow, that's produced amazing. indigenously uh, in India and we did that with the local partner and with mm -hmm. the uh, IOCL with the Indian Oil Corporation and the uh, government the civil aviation authorities uh, the regulator were quite supportive uh, in that uh, but that has really paved the way for us to look at future explorations of that kind as soon as the supply becomes available. That's great. Next, what are the plans for domestic network expansion? So we've had the uh, good fortune of a rapidly expanding network thanks to a fleet induction which uh, is a combination of what AIX Connect uh, used to have which was 28 Airbus A320s uh, and Air India Express Limited which had 26 uh, Boeing 737s which made a fleet when we pulled both those together in October 18th of 2023 as an airline which had 54 aircraft from October 23 okay. to uh, now in 300 days uh, we now stand at 80 aircraft wow. uh, we should end uh, the year at over 100 aircraft uh, so obviously with that increase that rapid increase in, in fleet we've been deploying and introduced a number of new stations both domestic and uh, international. We started operations in the last uh, year into Gwalior, into Varanasi, into Ayodhya. We've expanded operations from uh, Kerala to other parts of the country. We've expanded operations, including international operations commencement from uh, Lucknow and Varanasi to uh, the Middle East. Uh, we're now among the largest uh, operations from India to the Middle East and not just Kerala to the Middle East, which is where we used to be. We're now rapidly expanding into um, other parts of uh, uh, India as well. So we've just announced Agartala as a okay. station. Yeah, that's cool. uh, we just launched that. Uh, we announced Dhaka. Uh, mm -hmm. So hopefully a lot more expansion into South Asia and then subsequently into the rest of Southeast Asia. Yeah, crazy. Sounds good. Can you elaborate more on the new products and partnerships that Air India Express is venturing into? Sure. I mean, uh, a lot of the focus that we have had in terms of redefining ourselves as a hybrid uh, value carrier mm -hmm. is on enhancing the ancillary revenue. Uh, and we've done that by allowing our guests and customers to personalize their experience by unbundling the core service offering. So we're the uh, first and the only airline in India to have a zero check-in bag fare, which is Express Lite. Okay. Uh, so uh, like Scoot does in uh, Singapore or many other airlines across the world yes, have, yes. Um, we now offer that on both domestic and international routes, but that is restricted to distribution on our direct channel, airindiaexpress.com uh, and the mobile app. Uh, so we have now four, four, four fare types, Express Lite, mm -hmm. which is the zero check-in bag fare type, Express Value, which includes a 15 kg uh, check-in bag. Uh, we've got Express Flex, which includes the flexibility for changes that you want to make. Okay. And on the all the new inducted uh, 737 dash it's we have a business class as well. So we have an Express Biz offering, which includes business class 
class uh, fares which come bundled with the 40 kg baggage allowance a free meal uh, and uh, various other services like that including priority so what, what we've done over a period of time is try to move away from the notion that LCC service or product is not as good for example we have installed ovens in all our flights which yeah. allows us to serve hot meals yeah. uh, to customers we have uh, a range of 18 different kinds of FNB offerings much more than most FSCs yes. uh, across the world have especially in economy um, and that's really driven a lot of traction for us but we have recently expanded uh, outside of the airline ecosystem into partnerships with third parties like we partnered with um, Make My Trip okay. to offer hotels and holiday packages mm -hmm. we've partnered with Rear Travels to offer visa services to people coming into the country as well as uh, tourists who are going out of the country yeah. we partnered with Zoom Car for uh, allowing you to do ground transport and book your self-drive yeah. uh, cars we have blue ribbon bags for baggage protection so we've really taken a whole host of ancillary offerings uh, wow, and extended wow, that that's amazing so it's it's been quite a good ride I mean most recently I think the, the announcement that we made is the virtual interline platform okay. which we call AIX Connect okay. uh, which allows you to through a virtual interline uh, book or search for an origin or destination on our website and then book a flight connecting with another airline partner so for instance uh, on the flights that we operate into Singapore uh, which is where we are now from Chennai Madurai and Trichy yes you can now connect onwards on a scoot uh, flight on to Incheon to Taipei to Hong Kong to Melbourne uh, okay. and various other places or similarly you could fly in on an Air India Express flight uh, into say Amritsar uh, from uh, anywhere in the Middle East where we operate, okay, right? So are you, and then onwards are you onto. doing partnerships with Flynas and. That's right. So the next would be Middle Eastern carriers like Flynas, okay. Jazeera would be the natural extensions okay. of those because with that you could then do a, a Kochi to Cairo, for instance, either via uh, Kuwait or via Saudi Arabia. All right. Thank you so much, Siddharth. No, thank it was you. Wonderful talk. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. Thank Likewise. You.